first thing we do when we come to a property is we cut in the edges, kind of assess the topography. As you see, this was a steep yard with a few plateaus that enable us to set up the piles of leaves. Uh, proceeded to create the piles where we needed them, uh, go over them with a the mower, mulch them down finely. At times with the uh, property, you'll wind up with deep piles. You may have cleaned off a patio area, a driveway area, leaves bunched up against the house because of the winds. In that case, you're going to pull the leaves out, chopping the leaves up, make repeated passes. Uh, and we find it still a lot faster than putting them to tarps and dragging them to who knows where. Just work with them in place, chop them up finely, and disperse them right there. When you're done mulching, you're going to wind up with a finely chopped leaf product. That's a usable material. We use in our properties in the ground covers to create tree ring beds to stabilize raw, bare soil. And we find no difficulty uh, using the material back in the properties we care for. We don't have any excess to have to haul away most of the time. The advantage of a different type of thinking with mulch mowing the leaves is we don't go into the beds weekly. We'll work the heavy material off the edges, but we leave the leaves set in place until we're ready to do the final fall cleanup stages. The way the uh, machines operate, there are a different blade. There are two mainstay uh, mulching blades. One is shaped like this. You can see it's sort of offset and not your traditional flat mowing blade. This is good for early in the season when you're still cutting grass that's actively growing with leaves coming down. When the grass starts to slow, we go over to this blade. It's called the gator blade. You can see the difference. It has the big jagged teeth on top, which allow for further pulver pulverizing the leaves, but you can still cut the grass. Uh, we have a device on the mower discharge chute that closes that off and allows the leaves to recycle and stay underneath the mower longer, uh, cutting to very fine, small pieces. Some people have worked with different systems. Uh, the red mower just has a plate on the side of it, which works equally as well. Uh, for chopping up the leaves. So you can get as sophisticated or as simple as you want. So people want to, well, what's the cost to get started on this? It's a simple set of mower blades, um, $100 or less. Uh, a mulching kit can run anywhere from a few bucks of a homemade uh, device uh, fashioned up yourself to a device like I have that runs uh, about $300 that we use all year long. But it's very inexpensive to get going when you compare to all the other costs you normally would incur when you're using the other process of blow, tarp, carry, vacuum. We use this technique in the springtime as well uh, to capture and, and mulch any leaves that may have uh, blown in over the wintertime or fallen off trees very late in the season. Uh, we even use it through the summertime when we're doing our hedges and, and pruning. We let the stuff fall to the ground, just run over with the mulching blades uh, and chop it finely into place and let it be. The special thing about learning the process of mulch mowing, whether it's leaves, grass, trimmings, how quickly the stuff decomposes. Leaves, for example, will largely be decomposed by the time you're ready to go on the property in April. You'll find more humus building up in the soil, creating for greater um, moisture retention, greater root development. You're helping to create healthy soil. Healthy soil means your plants will do better. Your lawn will actually improve and, and sustain itself better during the dry, hot periods in the summertime. This is a skill like anything else. You want to just learn your machine. They're all built a, uh, a little differently. Um, so you just have to spend a little time fine-tuning, thinking through what's working for you and what may be giving you a little trouble. But virtually any mower that we know of, commercial grade mower, walk behind, can be um, developed to use uh, for mulching processes. You may find you're leaving little rows behind the, in the ground when you're mulching. Well, then you want to make a circular pattern always just charging into your workspace, into your leaves you're still yet to consume. But once you have that down, you just roll through properties with, with ease. Why do we like doing this? It's so much physically easier, number one. You're not bending over, you're working with leaves on the ground. So you're not picking them up. It's more profitable because you're not having uh, disposal costs. You don't need the extra piece of equipment, multiple vacuum trucks, all those tarps getting ripped up, rakes being broken. You're working with the leaves on the ground, mulching them up and dispersing them. And you can do it much more quickly once you learn this technique than the traditional blow, rake, bag, haul and, and carry. Mm -hmm.